Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nisse and today we're gonna take a look at the Indo-Chinese uh, Banting, I think it's called. Uh, and it's a, brought, <laughs> it's a mod brought to us by Leaf and Monsoon, two models that both are very good normally. And um, we have viewed quite a few of their mods on this channel at this point, so uh, let's just jump right into it. We have this picture in here by the ball, or of the ball uh, in here, and it's very beautiful. Um, I will say though, when you're just looking through all of the pictures on Nixus, uh, this picture kind of disappeared. Uh, because you see it very, very small. And this is a quite dark picture, so I actually said that it kind of disappears that way. Uh, it was only because I was looking for a, some specific animals I actually found this. Um, but as I said, it's the Indo-Chinese Benting. It is endangered and the population in the wild is unknown. Um, here we can see the Asia. Uh, Cambodia, Vietnam, China, Laos, Thailand, and Bur Burma. Uh, they live in tropical and grassland biomes, and one of them only need 200 square meters. Again, meters. Uh, I know I always point that out, but I know uh, some of my viewers are from America, and you are very welcome to watch my videos, and I'm very happy that you do. Uh, but you would probably... Uh, want to translate it into feed um, an extra need 50 extra square meters and a baby need 25 extra square meters they don't need any water but if you give it to them then they do swim uh, they live for minus 5 to 40 degrees celsius so they're kind of easy to keep they are big heavy dudes so you need a great four fence and it needs to be 6 feet 6 and it's at least above 2 meters, 2 meters and 2 meters and 15, 20, something around that. Uh, jumping in here you can have a group from 3 to 30 uh, and that would be one male only. Uh, and single groups you can have up to 10 males or again up to 30 if they are only females. Uh, we have social hierarchy is constantly in flux based on small fights. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the bull that are the no dominant one but um, this can mean two things either the bull of the group is swapped out based on fights or the females also have a hierarchy where they fight for dominance um, one of those <laughs> they are polyamorous confident around humans and guess should not enter the habitat um, the milk rose to four feet nine that's a meter and six I think uh, and three feet nine so that's a meter and 25 something around that they live for around 20 years and the mills grow up to a hundred and sorry 1700 pounds and the females 1200 pounds uh, that really isn't that much uh, that's only f um eight hundred fifty kilos and six hundred kilos so it's not much uh, bigger than a normal milk cow uh, we have a lot of uh, you know we have two types of uh, domesticated cows we have the one for milk and the one for meat one for meat is normally we have dexter which is a very cute little baby um <laughs> uh, not pig uh, cow 
but um, most meat cows are very heavy. This is only the size of a milk cow, so they're not that big uh, as I thought they would be. Uh, they reach sexual maturity at age 3 and they uh, can reproduce until they turn 20, so it's pretty much till they die. Uh, they get one offspring for per mating event and they are uh, pregnant for 10 months and they can give birth every other year. They should be easy to get to reproduce in captivity. Jumping over here, we have uh, enrich, uh, insect species enrichment with the Asian small clawed otter. I don't really know why, but uh, I know they live in the same area. But the thing is, um, most animals only have some um, interaction with animals that remind them of themselves. So the wild water buffalo makes lots of sense, but. What would they do with this Asian small cloud other? I don't get it. Um, but for enrichment, we have a lot. So over here, we have the mud bath. Uh, haven't seen them use it though. Then we have the two skittles, a rubbing pad. Then we have the football, the snowball, the grab ball, a herb scent marker, the two threes. And for food enrichment, we have. Uh, the hanging grassing feeder and then the doggy ball I think it's called and the big barrel and then the hay thingy uh, and as you can see we already have quite a big family if we have two colorations at least um, maybe three I'm not sure because we have this red one this dark one and then it seems like this one is, oops, wrong bottom, uh, lighter uh, than the dark one there. No, it's the same color. Um, so let's get right into it. The red beauty here is just standing and waiting for me. So we're going to take a look at her. Uh, we have a little glitching. Sorry, just trying to find her here in the face. Uh, that might not be the mod, that might be my computer. It's working overtime right now. Um, so um, keep that in mind. We have some eyelashes here. They look very beautiful. Very good. The structure up here is very beautiful with the horn. Uh, we have tons of it individual strands hair we have no issues up here but it is kept uh, very short here there's no plushies f or anything up here so it's have might have something to do with it i love the nose yeah it's beautiful and the texture on it i don't know can you can you see it here it's so beautiful since i've been working with cows uh, um in real life uh, I have seen these real close up a lot and it looks very lifelike uh, we have the legs down here of course where should they else be uh, the issue I have here is um, most natural animals which are animals that aren't be being bred by humans to look a certain way don't have straight lines so I have a, a issue with this is too straight for me. Uh, the leg back here looks a bit better, where it looks uh, more uneven. Uh, but up here, I think it's a bit too straight for me. They remember these two pointy things here, and they have individual colors, which I really like. Uh, and the hoofs. I don't know if it's. Is this hoof or is hoof the one horses have? I'm not sure. Um, but they look good. We have again here a very straight line. Normally some of the hair would cover that line so it would be more blended out. Um, but that's minor detail. Back here. We have a beautiful tail. So let's, let's see her move. 
Well, if you don't want to move, then we're gonna click on one that moves. Luckily, we have a lot of them in here. And I really like, you can see, look at this muscle down here, how much it works. That's very good. We have a little weird thing up here, but the muscle down here looks very real. As real as it can do is like in a computer game. Um, and c all kinds of cows and buffaloes and this entire family are, have a lot of mus muscles, so you can really see it when they move around the male is standing right here beautifully and again we have these beautiful nose beautiful eyes i love the ears very good structure here individual strands again a bit of glitching again it might be my computer and not the mud eyelashes are good here beautiful and you can see he's much heavier looking not just bigger but he looks heavier which are very well done so i hoping you're going for a swim now uh, you didn't but the thing is here uh, the male swims very well at the right level of the water uh, the females dive uh, which they shouldn't but they do and then the issue we have with a lot of mods, if the, they are bigger than the wreck they are made on, then they swim too high in the water. If they're smaller, they swim too low. I think the female back here are going for a swim, maybe. No, she's not just walking over. Uh, and that part works. Yeah, you can see the female there. Gonna dive underwater here. It's not too much, but it's... We would like her to not drown. Uh, the, again, the male works fine, but the female doesn't. Uh, jumping over here, let's see the babies. They are so cute. Uh, all the females got pregnant right away, so we have four babies here, and I think some of them already are pregnant again. 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.7, and 0 0.4. So you can see we got them all. Pretty much at the same time. A detail I really love is these small horns here. They're not as well done as the grown-ups. Uh, but it's so cute with these small, small horns. And sp especially since it's an animal that got their horns kind of early on. Not by birth, but already during the teenage years. Um, years, yeah, right. Uh, I think... a couple of months old or something like that uh, so that makes sense they would have them here uh, again a little bit of glitching might be my computer the ears looks a little funky here looks better over here is that something they all have no the ears looks fine over here so that's not the issue uh, but I can look at all of those individual strands of hair it's beautiful i love it and again down here beautiful work um so i don't know i think they're all eating now so none you're going for a walk now no um i would like them to actually go closer and actually eat of it but it's again the game not the animal but if I take one of you guys and move over here, then what happens? Yeah, then you're gonna move, right? Yeah. Oh, we're gonna see a little run. Yeah, it moves very well. I like that. So uh, while they get that dinner, everyone, that's uh, all I got for you today. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, and turn on the bell on notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again, either in the comments below or in the next video. Bye, guys!